Hi guys, this is another video for today because this is an unexpected video. I had some things on my mind um, that I really need to get out. I really need to get out, okay? So, there's two things um, I need to get out, okay? Um, one is, I know I've been getting emails um, from subscribers um, as far as like wanting to meet up with me and um, sometimes I find it um, hard one to keep up with some of these emails because I'm terrible at checking my emails I know I need to do better but I'm terrible at it and a lot of times when I post a video sometimes like when i was in las cruces i was only there for a day um <laughs> and then i left so by the time the video came out i was already gone um from las cruces but with that being said you know at first when i started this van life i was nowhere near ready to meet anyone i did meet um patrice and um I believe right now she's the only subscriber that I have personally met and me and her still communicate to this day um, and that was a very awesome awesome experience um, meeting with her such a nice lady but I noticed that this community is growing yes we are almost at 8,000 subscribers yay thank you guys okay um, so with that being said, <sighs> I think I am getting ready to open myself up to meet you guys. Um, but I want to do it in a way where I'm not meeting like one person here, one person there, one person there. Okay. I don't want to do that. Um, since I do travel state to state i'm thinking what i'm thinking is st starting like spring or summer time next year i should be in a better position and mentally ready <laughs> um to do meetups in states that i travel to and I'm thinking like, how would I do that? And I'm thinking that I would, if I know that I am going to be traveling through um, a state or an area within a state, I could, oh, excuse, oof, excuse me. I could post something on my community tab, um, which you guys should also check out periodically, I do post updates and information on my community tab, um, where I would post that information on my community tab, where if anyone in that area or even outside of that area would love to go to whichever location that I select, <clears throat> and we can do a small informal meet and greet i would call it a meet and greet i guess i don't know <laughs> what do you guys think um i think that probably would work best for me versus meeting a person here and meeting a person there because i am just sometimes just super busy um i do have a lot in my personal life going on where you know the videos i work um I am also working on another project that I don't talk about, which um, I'll go ahead and say it. I am in the process of writing a book and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> um, so I do got a lot going on um, in my personal life, um, as well as doing my, you know, historical research and all that stuff. Okay, that's not the point, but I don't know. Tell me what you think. I would love to hear your feedback on that option. And I think, yeah, I love to hear your feedback on that option. 
I've just been afraid, like, if I have one of these, no one's going to show up. And you know what? I was like, you know, Avia, if that happens, it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, what do we do with fear? We do it anyway. We, we conquer our fears anyways. Is that what we do here? That's what we do here. And another thing that I want you guys' feedback on, okay, is... I know that you guys are getting to know me and I was trying to figure out a way how to get to know you guys as well and how others in this community can get to know one another. So before I put this out there, I really want to hear your opinion and your feedback on my idea. Okay. <laughs> so food food to me is a way that people connect um people share a lot of their experiences their culture um through food food brings people together and food creates wonderful memories so <laughs> i thought about having another playlist where I'm gonna have you guys name the playlist because this is gonna be all about you guys and have you guys name the playlist where um, I want you guys to email me a recipe that you would like to share with this community, but not only just share the recipe, I would like to know why you chose that recipe, what that recipe means to you and your family, and any type of historical background or historical information that we can learn. Or you can share a little bit about you and, you know, just any something like that that we can share within this community. What do you guys think about that? And what I would do is I would select one recipe a month I think that's doable I was gonna say one recipe every two weeks but let's just start with one recipe a month okay where I would select one recipe and I would cook your recipe on this channel I would share your name I would share your 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 story behind this recipe and I would make it to the best of my ability down to your recipe. Um, and the reason I say that is because one, I don't eat pork, I don't eat shellfish and all those things. But I'm very good at um, substituting food items. I'm very, very good at that. So even if your recipe calls for pork, I know how to substitute that for a different food. Okay, so uh, for a different meat item, I mean. So, and also there may be some ingredients that may not be widely available for me. And I also kind of know how to substitute those things. Remember, I went to school for nutrition and I did take a few culinary classes. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm throwing it out there, guys. I want to hear your feedback. Let me know what you think on both those things that um, have been on my mind lately. Okay, so I look forward to reading your comments and seeing what you guys come up with. And... Um, if you guys like the food idea, you know, leave like leave a name. What are we going to name this playlist? This is all about you guys, okay? <laughs> so, I don't want to name it cuz this is about you guys. This is about bringing this community together. So, hey, thank you for listening and like I said, I'm looking forward to your input. Thank you.